All right, so now we're gonna have power for this guy. So he needs to slaughter mob. Does it matter what kind of mobs? Let me look in the manual. Mob interaction, okay. There's the mob crusher and the mob slaughter factory. It will grind any entity in front of it and produce liquid meat from it. It will not drop items or experience. It will also produce some pink slime in the process. Okay, we don't really need that much uh, pink slime. So I'm tempted to just maybe drop some cows or something in front of it and, you know, let them be slaughtered. I might do that. I, I might see if that's, if that's an option. We would definitely need some kind of tank for the two things. So what do I, what kind of tanks do we have? Can we get some more of these guys? Yeah, if we had, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get a couple of these redstone servos. Okay, I want two of these tanks. There we go. So we scanned you. Yep, sure. Okay, so I also want to get some conduits to pull the liquid out of this. All right, so yeah, that looks like the basics of what we need. I mean, we'll want to get probably, we might want to get more of this later. I don't know what you use this for, honestly, other than getting that little bit of pink slime you need. But I should only need like maybe three or four buckets of pink slime tops. So, all right. So if you had power, okay, you are now getting extra power. Cool. And if I output you, you now have plenty of power. Will it hurt me? No, it doesn't hurt me. All right. Let's just get some fencing. Okay, so do you have a range? You are right in front of you. Okay. Let me get you a range enhancement or something. I'm going to take to get one of those guys. A range add-on. Let's see here. Plus one, plus two, plus three. What does it take to make you? You are cobblestone. Lapis, I don't want to waste lapis. Iron, tin. Tin's a good thing to waste. We've got lots of tin. Let's make one of these guys real quick. So, any pain glass. Okay, it doesn't require the green glass, just happened to be on green. All right, let's get some more plastic. All right, there's the plastic. And now, can I get a range add-on of the tin variety. Yep, there we go. So, if I chuck you in there, what's your working area now? It's pretty good, actually. All right, so let's stop showing the working area. Um, yeah. Let's just go grab a cow or something and see what happens. So here we go. We've got our little lasso. Might want to sleep through the night real quick. I don't want you. I want you. I want to show the animals. I'm going to go sleep through the night. And then we will go find something. Okay. Where are we? Okay. Yeah, let's just, uh... Here, piggy. Okay, that was instant. So, what happened with that? 80 millibuckets. Wow. By the time I got enough pigs to get me a bucket, I would be really exhausted. So I guess we are going to need some kind of spawner thing, or this is not going to go well. Alright, that's fine. Guess we're going to build a dark room for this guy, for, you know, to use for 20 minutes or so. Okay, 
So, uh, at least I know. Yeah. Should be good. Except the adult filter. That's kind of cool. I guess that's for um, making uh, ranches and stuff and slaughtering them. Maybe I'll use that later. I don't know. All right, so we're going to have to make some kind of room that we can spawn mobs in. Cursed Earth would be nice, although I don't really have any. Probably could get some. Let's see, where are the... I could put something right over here, maybe. Hmm... All right, I'm gonna go build a little simple shack to put monsters in, and then I will come back and show you that room, and maybe we will go get Cursed Earth. All right, I've made a little dark room over here. I did put some Cursed Earth on there, but it didn't work quite the way I wanted it to, so I've messed up and broken some of it, and I don't have any more. And I don't really know how I can get more. Um, I used the exchanging gadget and I got one piece, but like that was for like 40 exchanges. So I understand when you get Cursed Earth and when you don't. Can you only get one piece of it ever? I don't know. So uh, there is some Cursed Earth in here spreading. Uh, we are getting some liquid meat and some pink slime. So that's good. So I'm just going to seal this guy up for now. And let's work on getting the pink slime and stuff out of the tanks. So let's go ahead... I think we're going to get a couple of hardened upgrades for those tanks. No wireless transmitter. Come on, I'm not that far away. It's not 40 blocks away. Well, I mean, obviously it is, but you know. Alright, I want the tanks. I want the hardened upgrades. Can I get two of you? Nope. No Invar. Alright, let's go teach the system how to make Invar real quick. So, to make Invar, you are a processing pattern. We need to put a nickel ingot and two iron ingots in there. There we go. That should be a way to get Invar. So, now can we get a couple of hardened upgrades? Yes. Yes, it can. There we go. It's crafting a bunch of stuff. There we go. There's my upgrades. So let's take both of these tanks out of here. I'm probably going to need one of those ender fluid conduits, actually. So we've got two kinds of fluids going. So there we go. We'll get some of that out of there. So let's put a tank over here. And we will upgrade it. And we will say that you are always active. So you are getting the meat. And then you should get the pink slime. So there we go. That's that stuff. Can't quite tell how full it is, but, you know, uh, every once in a while we can come over here and get a bucket of this stuff and, you know, keep working. So, I mean, you can hear the mobs spawning in there right now, so... You won't see them on the map, they spawn and die pretty much instantly, but this is what we'll do for a little while. I uh, just need to get some of that pink slime. Uh, in the meantime, while I'm waiting on that, let's go see if we can get the rest of a material stonework factor, or see what we'll need at least to get one. So we gauge you, and you, and you, and you. So, material stonework factory. I want one of you guys. So it's just pink slime, a couple of buckets of water and lava, a machine frame, a furnace, and an iron pickaxe. That all is not too bad. Let's go ahead and can I teach the pattern to you? I have no patterns, so can we make some patterns? Oh, I've got five. Cool. Good. All right. So let's teach it how to make you with the thermal recipe. So you don't know how to make buckets or pink slime or probably not iron pickaxes either. Nope, so we're gonna need a recipe for you. 
All right, if you had those two things, could you make a factory? All right, yeah, all it's missing is the water bucket, the lava bucket, and the pink slime. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, do I have a bucket? I've got one. Is there another one in here? We can make one. So I don't know how many of these we're going to want. We need one for cobble, gravel, sand, and then I think it can make silicon and stone too. That would be like five, which, you know, it would be nice if I didn't have to get, you know, all of those things. Uh, let's also get a pink slime bucket. So what we have to do with him is just place him in the world and he will spawn a pink slime. Then we'll kill it and get pink slime balls. Okay. Huh. I'm like right on top of a giant ravine or something. I had no idea. That's probably not true. I think I did know that, but I forgot about it. Okay. So all we need to do really is stand back, you know, I don't know, 25 blocks or so. And in just a minute or two, that thing should spawn a pink slime. I'm just going to watch and see what happens. All right, that's taking a bit longer than I thought it would take. So why don't we make it so he has a hard time uh, getting out from around here. Oh, there he is. So, kill this guy, and we get some pink slime. Cool. That's what I want. Let's get another one, because we're going to need one for each of the factories we want to make. I want to make at least five, I think. So, you know. There we go. And we'll put this in there. And... I want to use a pitcher plant and I've got some some lava I think we can borrow from a drum. So it should be a lava drum in here somewhere. There we go. And a pitcher plant. And a piece of dirt. Okay, well I've got that on me, so. All right, so let's put the dirt here, put the pitcher plant here, and I'll put the lava over here, and now I can take my buckets and get those things that we need. So there we go, a material stonework factory, which you could make if, you know, you had the rest of that stuff. There we go, it's got what I need to make one of them. All right. So that's one. Let's put you in there and get the buckets back out. We'll stick you in there and make another one. And while that's waiting, we'll go see the pink slime over there. Hey, there he is hopping around. Oh, he's not trapped, is he? Maybe he is. I don't know. Hey. Just one man. Well, we'll have to do this again, I guess. All right. So, but that's going to be three of these guys. So, you know, that's something. All right. Let's get that and let's get the buckets. And let's put a third one. All right, do I have my thermometer? Did I scan this guy? No. Okay. Do you have the factory? Okay. So there's these guys. We're going to have three of them. All right, so I've got a place for sand and gravel and cobble. So that's all good. We're going to need three detectors at least. 
because we're going to turn these on when we don't have enough resources and turn them off at other times. So, you're going to go somewhere, not there. You're going to go in here. Okay, there's that fluid transposer. So, two, three. Okay, let me get my wireless guy out and let's get some conduits. All right, they're going to need power. I kind of think they don't need anything else, actually. But we'll obviously want some um, item conduits, too, to take the stuff out of there. All right, so material stonework factory. All right. I want you to work on a redstone signal. Same for you, same for you. So by default, it makes cobblestone. If I use furnace mode, that would get me smooth stone. So let's see what happens if I do grind mode. I believe we'll get gravel. So let me... Yeah. If we grind you again, do we get sand? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to say you are active with a redstone signal and you are going to be grind grind we're going to want one for glass we're going to want one i think if we grind 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 we get silicon yes we do okay so we want you to be like that okay so we definitely want two more three more one for smooth stone one for silicon and one for glass Okay, so let's go see if we have enough pink slime to get more buckets of that stuff. Do I have my buckets? Yeah, and I can use my ender bucket too. Not for the crafting recipe, but probably for, hello creepy. You're not welcome here, dude. I thought I made myself clear about suicide bombers. You guys are not welcome. Never, ever, ever. Okay. So, let's see if it made the detectors. There we go. So, we will detect when we have cobblestone and gravel and sand. And if we don't have enough... We will say, make more. Okay, so let's put the detectors on here. Uh, what we do need, though, is some cable. Let's get some of that. There we go, get some cable. Put you, and then we'll go over, and that will en enable you. I need a piece of gravel, a piece of cobblestone, and a piece of sand. Gravel, sand. All right, so we're going to say 1024. If you have less than 1024 cobble, you will be on. Okay? If you have less than 1024 gravel, you will be on. And we don't have that much gravel, I'm pretty sure, so that's going to go on. And you will be sand, and if we have less than that much sand, you will be on. Except I meant to turn off the silicon thing. Okay, now the question becomes, if I pull out of you, what are you going to pull out? I may have to filter these guys, I'm not sure yet. 
All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. You've liked and subscribed by now, right? Ah, what am I saying? Of course you have. See you next time.